All right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video chart breakdown. I'm going to be breaking down a trade I took on Friday. Um, if you hear my kids in the background, they're eating, <laughs> watch TV. So all good. All my parents out there, you already know how they work. So let's do this chart breakdown. Okay, so on Friday, um, where do I start here? Where do I start? So this is the Asian range for the night previous on Thursday as you can see when between these areas here I have an actual uh, indicator that helps with that Asian range and as well as the uh, central bank deviations so those what those gray lines are green is the London session red is the New York session this light blue one is the uh, London close and then the New York close so I don't start trading until after 8.30, um, which is start here, open about around this time right here. So I created this high. I noticed it created this high right here, came back down. This is the five minute chart. So obviously this is higher high, higher low. <clears throat> the wicks reached down into this fair value gap that was on the five minute chart. But if you went up to the 15 minute, happen this way and um came above the floor to take out the other side of the Asian range. I was thinking in this moment I was thinking in this moment where uh excuse me myself I'm trying to get my kids to talk. But uh <laughs> but I was thinking that the next objective I could take would be the London high. Um the New York the lowest was made right here. Um uh, I was expecting this to be the low of the day, actually. Um, I already deleted my notes, but I was I labeled that as the low of the day just because of the central bank uh, deviations. Hey, I forgot my speaker was on. It just turned off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just followed the trend up. I followed the trend up. I seen this fair value gap right here and needed noted that that inefficiency needed to get filled in. And this high right here, uh, London high. I Asian low came down here made the low of the day and um you know I see sometimes when you're talking about day trading um you may not always know what the low of the day is it can be a good starting point of looking at the central bank deviations um from the Asian range but um anyways yeah going to take out the eight uh the London high right here buy side liquidity that's what I was aiming for so let's drop back down to the five minute chart. Yes, and even though that was in a downtrend for an hour, I seen the two different shift structures on the 15 minute and the five minute. Um, and also it took out, um, let me just go back. On, it's actually funny, uh, on uh, trading, it never took out the weekly sell side liquidity, but on my actual uh, broker um, on MT uh, MT5, it actually took out the sell side liquidity. So that's in that moment, I was like, okay, it took it out on my broker, but not on trading view. So I'm just going to go based off of uh, the broker at that time because I wasn't sure. I was like, okay, this is kind of you know, I, I don't. This is not 100% confident that this is going to keep going down. Or not, so I just waited for that 8:30. That's why I wait for the 8:30 open for uh, indexes or um, US 30 or NAS 100 SPX. That's why I wait for those times. But uh, these lines right here is the week start, the week close, and uh, day by day. And as you can see, just like uh, ICD does in its concepts of the open of you know Sunday, the Friday gap. Um, it made its way above and just like the pretty much just I would see it like just like the Judas swing pretty much see his way above or his uh, short term trading and then end up reversing on Thursday 
down to here to just take out, like I said, on the broker, weekly side liquidity and the previous day's liquidities from each day. So from here, 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 uh, it was all taken out on, uh, by Friday. So uh, let's drop back down to the... So based off the five minute chart, um, this is the 8.30. So I waited for that to uh, begin. I seen it drop down to this fair value gap. Um, this close here I entered in right here yes I could have entered it down there for a tighter stop but I wasn't sure actually at that time so I entered there and was still aiming for it to go higher so one to one but <clears throat> never made it uh, it actually took me out right here Actually, went came actually a little lower, and I went ahead and actually entered into the fair value gap. You mean? Looks like to me, it was coming down to that order block. So, coming back down to that order block to retest that, and then travel up. So I lost that first trade, but then we got in to, um, Yep, so once that trade, that happened right here, that loss happened right here, right? Let's go ahead and put that back. Then I waited, it took out London High. So I was trying to figure out another place that it could uh, go to. And I noticed that was a lot of inefficiency going all the way up from on the one hour and the four hour, which is these fair value gaps right here. I was like, yep, that's the next target. So, excuse me. Um, so when I thought that was the next target, I was like, okay, let's wait for that. It's a higher high here on the uh, five minute, came down, created a higher low, came into this order block, right? And then actually started here. So I actually entered again, actually here, but on the one minute, hold on, let's see. Uh, Yeah. So once I seen this high, low, uh, lower high, failed, failed. Well, potential lower high, um, but it failed to do that. End up going make a higher high, higher low, and once it came back down into where was I looking at actually? Uh, I believe I was looking at the and once it closed up here on the five minute where is that time right here closed on the five minute yeah I was looking for it to come back and retest this this breaker right here so I came I entered in probably I think let me let me check let me check I gotta find out how to put my my um my tags on the screen um from here my computer is just trash so we just gonna have to do this for now but um yeah yeah i uh yeah so anyways yeah i, I entered in at the top right here and then had it right below this uh zone right where did i put it up? let me just make sure let me put let me see should have probably Much that area coming down right here. Yep, into there and there. Because I was looking between both the five minutes. And then I was looking for this higher high right here. But I'm trying to see. Let me go back down here for a minute. That's the candle right there. Okay, so I put it below this low on the one minute. Yep, so I put it right below. Came out to be a one to 
three and I won that trade, so I recovered that previous loss. And then I waited again on the, let's go back to the five minute. I need to get a better computer, bro. Oh my gosh. And this was on my challenge account. I was doing it on my live account the, re the weeks previously, but I'm trying to do the challenge accounts again for the prop firm. Just get some more capital. Um, but let's see, boom, boom here. Yep. Once it broke above right here. Yep. This area right here. So it came back down in that area. Let's see that gap. Let's go down to the one. By the way, that the blue circles are for the five minute. That green circle right there is actually for the one hour. came down to this area came back up came here yep right in between this area oops yeah so once I seen I waited for this to break so once I seen that break of the one minute came back down I had entered in about I think actually right here right there and then my stop loss was actually below this um this area right here why did i pick that area at that time let me just double check here let me just see why did i pick that area yep because i was looking at below this five minute um that five minute candle i couldn't probably put it down here but i was just looking below the five minute candle in general um, I know I could have been stopped out, but I wasn't on that one either, which was good. And I aimed for the same thing. I ain't really aimed too high. I just aimed for that five minute candle. So four one to two. All right, hold on. Um, but yeah, that was it. Pretty much, those are only two. The other one, the last one, I was just watching. And it did eventually by the end, but I wasn't help. I wasn't staying in that long. This was like, this is three o'clock right here until two. Yeah, nah. Once that kill zone is pretty much uh, done, like I did this one for the London close, but I also did this one at um, pretty much close to uh, the New York uh, kill zone. I just seen it. I had to get in. I ain't gonna lie, but. After that point is closed, though, I was like, nah, we, we just going to cut it off right there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the, pretty much it, though. That's the breakdown. That's what happened on Friday. Um, I was going to do a, actually a different breakdown, too. But I think the Friday breakdown was a pretty good example of, like, market structure on the five minutes for the one minute of how I like to see it. And what I seen for, like... Uh, the central bank deviation of finding the high or the low of the day and then taking out uh, liquidity on the upside for the uh, London session. I'm looking for either one of those, just like ICT kind the same thing. Uh, and, and I still recommend watching his videos because, I um, yes, I do try to help and have people help um, through their process of what they learn in. In my journey of what I'm seeing, but I ain't perfect. I ain't trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be a guru or nothing like that or do anything like that. But I am trying to show what I uh, did this week or did in the session. So uh, this was just a trade breakdown. This is not going to the whole weekly breakdown. I might do that next week. We'll see. I might just keep doing the trade breakdowns. I think this is just a lot more uh, focused on one um, session or one day instead of multiple days because I'm kind of like speeding through it to get through all of it. So I think this is, you can get a lot more out of this than out of multiple days. So let me know how y'all like it. Um, I'll catch y'all later. I'm going to go to the gym uh, pretty soon and get something to eat. You guys know how I go. And then I'm going to drop another psychology video soon. Um, actually, probably tomorrow, actually. So I'll catch y'all later. Uh, oh, my bad. 
I forgot to tell y'all on the prop firm, I have a 50 K challenge and I made, um, I was risking about 1% on each. So 1% loss here, I was supposed to drop it down to a half percent, but it looked good. And I had did 1% here and then 1% there. So, uh, I lost 500 here. Then I made, uh, the one to three, that's just 1500 here. And then, uh, the thousand here. So 2,500 for that day. Um, um, I did have like a losing day, uh, on Monday, uh, or Tuesday. One of those days it was Monday, Tuesday. It was just trash. It was just trash. Oh my gosh. But, um, I'm gonna start doing some losing trade too breakdowns just cause that's, I think that's more uh, actually like this one is more important. I think, I mean, than the winning trades cause this one, I just didn't, I entered in, but I didn't wait for that pullback to happen to actually see what was going on. And I just, I didn't even notice that it was going down to a different area on the higher time frames. And that's why I got cut up. So we'll probably do that in 